Oxygen treatment becomes a bit more tricky when you're traveling by air. The air cabin pressure is low, so the functional oxygen, the amount of oxygen you can get in that cabin is much lower than what we get in our uh, day-to-day -day life. Everyone gets a little bit less oxygen when they're flying in the plane, but for most people with normal lungs, it does not matter. For people with COPD and lung disease, that little bit change in oxygen levels actually can make a big difference in their blood oxygen level. If you use oxygen during sleeping and during activities, you will perhaps need oxygen during your flight as well. And if you use oxygen all the time, then you might need a little bit extra oxygen during your flight. So you have to talk to the airlines, you have to communicate to them. There's usually a form that you can fill out and submit to them prior to your travel dates. And you can talk to the representative of the airline to make sure all arrangements are done. Are you gonna use your own oxygen supply or airline's oxygen? Are you gonna take your concentrator with you? And all those things need to be sorted out before you plan your travel. I suggest you talk to your pulmonologist and your doctors because they might need to write a letter to the airlines and you might actually need to go through some testing to figure out how much extra oxygen you need while you're traveling.